Hey there guys, Headphones Neil here. We are back with an Android Quick Tip. So since I've been spending more time at home, I've found it easier. I wanted to have a way to send all my notifications from my Fitbit Charge 2, or at least from my Android smartphone to my Fitbit Charge 2. And not necessarily because I want all the notifications there, but I have just found that it's more consistent rather than having to pick and choose a particular calendar app or email app or a, um, in the case of my device um, picking between specific um, messaging apps like hangouts or messages or whatsapp or whatever is installed so as it turns out there is an app in the google play store called fit notifications so what this does is it allows you to select which notifications you want to have sent from your android smartphone to your fitbit um, device so for me i'm using a fitbit charge 2 Oh, it'll guide you through the setup, but um, essentially once you install the app, you're going to set up or select the apps that you want to have notifications sent to your, um, your Fitbit smartwatch. So as you can see, I've gone through um, some of the um, apps that are installed on my device and um, the ones with the check marks are the ones that I want to receive notifications on. Everything else I will not. So from here, um, it's a matter of selecting the right selection so that you can get those um, notifications on your smart device. So once you go into the settings, so you'll launch your Fitbit app. I realized I went through that a little bit quickly. You'll go into your set your account settings for your device and you're gonna go to notifications. From here, you'll click on text messages and you'll see an entry for fit notifications. So what you'll do is you'll select that and now, um, instead of just having to pick, for example, between Hangouts, Messages, and WhatsApp, um, using Fit Notifications, it'll send all the notifications from your um, Android device to your smartwatch. Um, the requirement here is that you do need to give it notification access. Um, and from there, you can select if you want vibration to be on or off. Um, and that's pretty much the bulk of the settings really there's not much else to say but it ha does work pretty um, niftily so um, that's the reason I call it a quick tip is because that's all there is to it once you set up the fit notification app it'll guide you through the step-by-step -step, um, idea that um, you once you grant notification access I think there was accessibility access as well and then it'll tell you to go to the Fitbit app um, select fit um, notifications and you're good to go um, I did get a, as you can see I did get a couple of Twitter notifications uh, while recording this video and um, it did show or show up in my um, uh, or it did vibrate on my smartwatch so definitely recommend worth getting it it is a free app and if you do want to donate to the developer you can um, support that developer via uh, PayPal so if you do so I would recommend doing that as well I haven't gotten around to it myself but I am definitely gonna give them a couple of dollars at least for the app so that's fit notifications for Android in order to get all of your Android notifications on your Fitbit device even though it does not technically support it as of yet but it is a nifty way to do so but that's all there is for this particular review so if you want to uh, get in touch with me, have questions, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. Um, you can find the website at PatelN01.com for all past episodes, subscription links, and all of that good stuff. And of course, you can help support the show on, pa or on Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01 um, to get hot takes, early access to content, and all of that good stuff. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.